Hello and welcome, my name's David from Davro Digital and in this video we're going to take a look at producing a very quick and easy slideshow using ProShow Gold here but exactly the same thing can be applied in ProShow Producer. Right, I've already created a new show naming it Wedding and created it to the format of, uh, what was it, 1024 done for this particular one. This is the folder we're using. I'm using some wedding pictures as taken by Joe Doyle of joephoto.co.uk but with this you can make the show suit whatever sort of theme you want. It doesn't matter, it could be your holidays, vacation, it could be sort of family events, whatever. You can change and adjust it right the way through. To make a start we're going to grab hold of the first slide here. We're going to use Control A so we're going to select all the slides which are in this folder. Clicking on it we're going to drag, we're going to drop it into slide number one. That's now copying it in. You can see there's 53 slides through it goes and yes there are 53 slides. Let's go back to the very beginning. The first thing you'll notice, the default slideshow tends to be rather sort of dark and dim. Let's click here just to remove that selection there before we do anything else. We're going to go to show, we're going to go to show background. Let's just open this up a little bit, move it across I mean. Clicking on image, clicking select, select from media source, built-in content, clicking open, clicking on backgrounds, double clicking on backgrounds, no we're not going to rename it, thank you. We have now got the full list of files. Coming to this icon here we can change it to thumbnails by clicking down and this is what I mean, you can use this for anything, there's a load of different backgrounds in here covering all sorts of events so it's coming right the way through. You notice some uh, you know, holiday type themes going on there. There you are, some sporting events, graduation coming through there, more sporting events, and that's the one we're after. Clicking open to that, it's arrived. But you'll notice it's actually come in in like a widescreen format. Scaling, fit to frame, fill frame will cure that. Brightness, bit dull. Let's take it up. We're going to move this to around about that area there. Looks pretty good. Taking the white point up a bit as well dropping the black point down a touch or two just to give a little bit of depth in those reds like it clicking done right the next thing I'm just going to grab some music from my desktop dragging dropping it into the soundtrack area there through it goes and just taking a look we have got 53 slides at 5 minutes 18 seconds we have got one audio track at 4 minutes 48 seconds we haven't adjusted any of the slide timing yet so by the time we do that it should give us uh, just a nice fit Right, looking through here, I've noticed this vehicle has parked out of place. This is actually their wedding transport or the bride's wedding transport, a VW camper van. Fantastic or what? We're going to use the right hand arrow bracket. That's the right hand arrow bracket. Nothing to do with the VW symbol, but it's the right hand arrow bracket. And moving this, you can see we can actually repark the van between the bride and the groom. There it is there. So that's a good place to position that. We're now going to click to go back to the start of the show. Right, for the next part we're going to come to the window, show, light box. That's opened this up and talking about opening it up you can't see an awful lot but if you click down we can drag this out. Coming to the bottom corner here we can click down, we can open this up so we can see the, all the slides we've got or most of the slides we've got in this particular show. There they all are. You can move them around as well using that sort of the arrow brackets to move the slides around. You can delete any, it's a great way of editing. I'm going to drop down to the bottom, just going to click down, I'm going to select this slide here, or you can click off this, and you see the way you can drag it across, you'll notice the way it goes from black through to white, that means it's been selected, so as we come across these slides here, I know this one's all the ones, yeah, it's all the ones here are actually from a dance sequence, we're going to click in the box, I'm going to put in one, so we're changing all these to one second for the on-screen timing, through it goes. Right, let's take a look at the rest of them. Just coming up to this area here. The top ones here, the ones with the bride getting ready, and you can see there's, there's the, the camper van we moved. I'm going to click down again. I'm going to drag this across to the slide number three. So we've selected to slide number three. We're going to click in the box here, and I'm going to put in a on-screen time of zero. We're going to change the slide time in here, the, sorry, the transition time in there even, to four seconds and we're leaving it on the transition of fade dissolve and we're just going to click enter and it's applied it to these slides only, the selected slides. Right, coming down, we're going to click down now, we're going to drag this down over these slides, coming down to all of the slides there. You'll notice the music is now coming into the, the framing of the 
actual slides we've got. Let's move this back up. You can see it's only from slide number, we've actually got them all selected. So I'm just going to make sure, I'm going to use control and make sure we deselect these slides. That was the reason for zooming back up, for some reason it selected them all. So we've now deselected these, so it's just these side slides we're working on. We're going to right click, randomize, we're going to go to motion effects where we have pan, stroke and zoom. We're going to be greedy and we're going to use all. You see just these are now changing. We're going to come in, we're going to right click again, we're going to come to randomize, we're going to come to randomize motion effects or transitions, should I say there, through those go. That looks pretty good. With the exception of probably from this slide, slide number 19 through to 20, 21, these slides here, you know, they're in the church and just after the church, so for the ceremony part we're going to go for just the fade the dissolve. Yep, we'll leave those for the the timing we'll leave as is. That should be pretty good. The screen timing for these on the top part here, I want that one, 10, 11, 12, to be a lot faster. So we're going to change these to one second and we're just going to press enter, which will apply it to the selected slides only. Job done. Right, let's grab hold of our light box. Let's pop it back and you'll see it's dying to get back in there. You see those flashing lines, in it goes. Going back to window, show, clicking on the light box, we come back to our sort of, it looks a bit cross there, but it's between the transition times, so I'm not going to worry, so it's popping it back. And there it is. There's the slides, the slide time as we've changed. We haven't changed these two. These are sort of like the introductory, the title slides. I'm going to put the four seconds, sorry, zero seconds on that, four seconds, I was getting ahead of myself, and perhaps five seconds on this one. This is where the title slide would go, and that should be it. One thing though, just looking at these, I like the way it looks, but with the exception of there's nothing sort of holding it in, wrong slide to do that, well, but nothing holding the image in. So we're going to go to frame, we're going to scroll down a little bit, we're going to click on the six pixel white stroke, let's go back to slide number one, we're going to press control, we're going to drop this down, pressing down control, so it's just copied this to slide number one, double clicking to open it, six pixel white stroke, we're on this layer, we're going to right click, copy, copy to all slides, clicking on this. It's now thinking about it, it's thinking seriously about it, it's probably copying it as we speak. It's now copied it through, pasted it in, job done, so it's now copied this into all layers. Let's play. Through it comes. That's looking pretty good like that. You can see this area here is just a very soft, it really does depend on the, slide, the style of the slideshow you're working with, but this one is nice and soft dissolve starting off. We're going to stop it there because we know that those slides are in that sort of mode from this point onwards. If we just come to this one here, we're going to change the mood from slide number 10. And you see we've now got some movement coming through. The transitions are also going to alter. They're going to be a bit faster for the on-screen timing. There's a bit of fun going on here with these now. And there we go. You can of course come in, you can sort of fill in the gaps there if you wanted by just moving them round a little bit, but that is a quick and easy way of producing a slideshow. Just sort of, you know, using the light box and just using the randomize, job done. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.